In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, divide a whole number into a given ratio. And the idea, quite simply, is that you uh, are given a number, this whole number, for example, and they tell you, whoever, tells you that they want this entire amount put into uh, the ratio of 4 to 3. All right? So let's, for example, say that uh, they've got, they said... Uh, we can only let uh, 112 people in, and uh, they need to be in the ratio of 4 to 3 and whatever. Okay? So, um, the first thing is that you take uh, this ratio here, okay, and you add these two digits together. So, what you're doing is you're going 4 plus 3, and that equals 7. Okay? The next thing you need to do is take the 112 and you need to divide it by 7. All right. If you're not very good at long division, uh, you are going to need to practice it because uh, that's how you need to. That's how you're going to uh, work out these questions. Okay. So 7 obviously doesn't go into 1, so we put a 0 there, but it, 7 will go into 11. And it will go once. Okay, 1 times 7 is 7, and we subtract. 11 times 7 is 4. Okay, and we bring down the 2. And 7 goes into 42 6 times. And we subtract. And that leaves us with 0. Okay, so we've got, that's very convenient. We've got a nice round number with 16. Okay. So that means that 7 will go into 112 16 times. All right? So um, let's just write that down to record it. 112 divided by 7 equals 16. Okay? Now, to get this broken up into the ratio like this, we now need to go to, uh, we now need to say 4 times 16. Okay? That's this 4 here. All right, is coming down here. All right, 4 times 16 is going to be something. And then 3 times 16 is going to be something else. Okay, so uh, 4 times 16, 2 is 64. Okay, and 3 times 16, uh, 32, 32 would be 48. Okay, so that means that um, 112 broken up into ratio 4 to 3 is going to be uh, 64 to 48. Okay, which equals 4 to 3. Okay, and if you want to check, you can just take this number and this number, these two terms here. And you can add them up, and they should equal 112. Okay, just a quick check. All right, so that's how you uh, basically do this uh, type of question. Let's have a look at uh, 180 into the ratio of 6 to 9. Okay, so again, we have to add the 6 and the 9 which gives us 15, right. and we're going to take uh, 180, we're going to divide it by 15, okay. and we'll give us uh, 12, okay, so that means that um, 180, Divided by 15 equals 12. So that means we're going to take this number, all right, and we are going to multiply it uh, by 6 and by 9. So 6 times 12, 72, and 9 times 12, and 408. 
And so that means that uh, 180 in the ratio of 6 to 9 is going to be 72 to 108. Okay, and if you add that up, you can see that, that adds up to 180. All right. Okay, let's go on to the next one. 162 into the ratio of 4 to 5. Okay, well, we take 4 and we add 5 equals 9. Okay, and 162 divided by 9 will be 18. Okay. I'm pretty confident that's 18, but it might turn out that we're wrong. Okay, so um, that means that 162 divided by 9 equals Eighteen. That means we're going to multiply the 4 here by 18, and the 5 here by 18, and that will give us our ratio. So it's 4 times 18, 36, 72, okay, and 5 times 18, Okay, so that means that we are going to have a ratio, uh, 162, made in the ratio of 4 to 5, is going to look like 72 to 90, which equals 4 to 5. And again, you can just add these two together and uh, to double check your work. Alright, I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.